I stepped in the station in and just like a week after moving here and uh, a buddy of mine Brandon Rickman was playing with Larry Cordell and uh, Larry Cordell the great songwriter oh, yeah. from Kentucky and, yep. and, uh, and marvelous picker as well he's yep. the guy that wrote um, um, Highway 40 Blues mm -hmm. and, and um, Murder on Music Murder Row Murder on Music Row <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, in fact, Murder on Music Row, uh, so I ended up, uh, I guess it was an audition. I didn't know it was, and they didn't either, but he was looking for a fiddle player at the time. And uh, I ended up uh, going in the green room and picking with him. And uh, he called me the next week, and Murder on Music Row had been out that year. So he was, you know, everybody knew who Cord was. Um, and he ended up winning CMA song of the year that year for murder on music row but uh i remember at belmont i was still going there and i was watching the cmas on on tv and i had messaged larry and i was like man you're gonna be on the cmas tonight and he goes oh honey he's like i don't know if we'll win this thing and sure enough they won it and wow that was that was an awesome moment um yeah so your audition was really in the green room, <laughs> yeah. which is not really a green room. Uh, no. it's, a, it's a too small place for a bunch of players to pick, right. but the Station Inn is, uh, I, guess, I guess, the country's premier bluegrass club, and, yeah. and people may not realize that some of the best music goes on in that little back room. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's true. I remember uh, when I, the jams that they had, uh, I think now it's kind of one jam when they have the jams on Sunday nights, but there were the jams were kind of split up, and the better jams were usually behind those closed doors. So you you come in and you're like, oh, I wonder if I can get in the back room if they'll let me pick with them. But um, yeah, I, I gosh, uh, the station ends, you know, like home to so many of us musicians. Um, over the pandemic, uh, we were playing shows to nobody, but we were just glad to be playing because you know we we were shut down and um so it's been you know it's like a beacon for all of us bluegrassers for sure <laughs> <laughs>